We have been touched in such a way that we are emotionally broken. But we are grateful that you are the God of our comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulations, in all our typical moments. For you are a God who can be touched by the feelings of our infirmities. You are a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. Your brokenness and emotions were seen at the very, at the great, very great side of Lazarus. For the word of God says, and Jesus wept. We pray, God, that you will unbear us with strength today, but by the family friends, and the rest of us. Speak to us in one such a way. For it is appointed that the man wants to die. But after this comes the judgment. Have your way right now on the Father. We wait on you on the people of the Lord say, Amen. Amen. Today is a Sunday. For the Mandela's family, a sad day for the Jamaican Constabulary Force, a sad day for the parish of Westland, and by extension, a sad day for Jamaica. We have lost a family man. Husband, a father, a brother, an uncle, a friend of many, which I am one. It was in 1990, I met this handsome young man coming to the full police station as a young police officer. At that time, I was just not fully reached a year since I was employed as a member of the administrative staff at the Food Technical High School. I was really a commending spirit because I entered that property with great appreciation from you. The yard was taken care of as the worker man was there cutting and cleaning up. From the gate, as you enter the gate, the gate was painted and some other areas, part of the house was painted. He was so happy to see me and started to point me to all the many things that he would do. He was good. He was really in a jubilant moment as we shared that wonderful moment together. There was no sign, there was no indication of what would have taken place on Tuesday night. We departed from each other only to receive the sad news from Julian, that daddy has died. He was not only a friend of many, but he was a faithful police officer. One who was committed and dedicated to his vocation and body. Very stern, serious, and you would have called him a nonsense police officer. I told somebody sometime ago, when my daughter look at you and give you a smile, because there is immediately a sense of relief. 
That serious look that was always on his face would have kept you at a distance. But when he gives you that smile, wow, you are so invited to be getting closer to him. He was a fighter who ambitiously fought to the eyes and accomplished all his dreams and aspirations. When I heard the song of the the choir, the choir, it is great to put the ice cream into the cake of this very, very part of my, of my village. He did not get a chance to finish all his dreams and aspirations and goals that he had set. Because unfortunately, he could not fight hard enough to stay alive, to realize all of it. At all of it. His very passing has brought a wave of shock to the world. And such pain and sorrow to his family and friends. His death has left us with many unanswered questions. Like, why did this happen? Were there any signals that should have been seen? Did I offer the love and support that was needed? Could I have done anything to prevent this? And did I do this? I can very say. And as far as this passion is concerned, there will be a lot of argument. A lot of negative things may have been said. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you are a young man or a Thank you. 
that the cross will break on the altar. He revealed an altar unto the Lord. And there he placed the water, he placed the beneath, and he asked them to pour on the water. Oh, hallelujah, they poured on the water was running all along the altar in trenches. And then the light lifted up his eyes to walk heaven and fall on the ground. And here the saints of God, God immediately answered by fire. God not only consumed the heat of the wood, but the stone, the water, the dust, even around the house. Oh, hallelujah, what a mighty man Elijah was. But the Bible tells us after some victory, amen, hallelujah, after running before the chariot of Ahab, he had horses too that outrun the man of God. He was so anointed, he was so powerful. But after all of this victory, all of these, after all of this glad and glory of the man of God, Jezebel just sent him over. You have killed all these prophets, but tomorrow, this same time, Elijah, you shall die. Guess what happened? The powerful man of God went into depression and need. And Elijah said, I don't want to live any longer. I just want to die. And the word of God tells me that Elijah took his servant with him. And when they came to the sheep, they made Elijah shut Say unto his servant, Stay here. And let me go into the wilderness. And he went into the wilderness. And right there in the old and that's all by himself. He cried out to God, kill me. I don't want to live any longer. I don't want Jessica to kill me. I want you to take my life. But I notice here that God put him into a deep sea. Do you know that 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 that, 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 that was? Was it not Wednesday morning? I was broken in tears because we were actually sharing this uh, account about Elijah, my wife and I emotion. And that emotional uh, exercise got me broken. I wept my way through, not even knowing what had happened in that night. And, and what really broke my heart is when, when I look at Elijah, when I look at how he stood for God, and just one little chisel just threatened him and he got so cold feet that he was not willing to give up his life. But I'm glad he asked God to do it. Take my life, Lord. But I notice here that God put him into a deep sleep in his depression. And then an angel came and woke him up. Hallelujah. You're the sense of God. God doesn't put some of us to deep sleep. Amen. We will be going over the edge just like our brother. Hallelujah. I must tell you, saints of God. Amen. In the time of your depression, in the time of your, 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 your end to yourself, you need to look to God. In this very country of ours, is that we're losing a lot of our men to this very country. And I was alarmed at the statistics that we are seeing. Between 2015 and 2019, some uh, 283 men in Jamaica committed suicide. When we look at the statistics, it's really telling us that there are more men dying this way than women. And I would like to suggest, hallelujah, amen, as the word of God speaks to us from Isaiah 41 and verse 10, the word of God is telling us, fear thou not. Become fearful, but hearing the word of God is speaking to us as it 
Your God is not Beelzebub. Your 
God. It's the true and living God. The God who answers the fire. The God who closes thy mouth. The God who takes heat out of the fiery furnace for the three evil wars. Do I have a witness of the heavens? Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. I am my God. Amen. Hallelujah. I must tell you that the God that we are talking about, amen, is the same yesterday. It's the same today. It's the same forever. It's the same God who stepped out in time and said, Let there be. And there was. I must tell you that He's still the God of the mountain. I must tell you that He's still God of the valley. And I can tell you that he's a God of all circumstances. There's not a problem that he cannot solve in your life. There's not a burden that he cannot lift. Hallelujah. It's a cast all your tears upon me. Amen. For Amen. I care for you. You don't have to bow to what the devil is telling you to do. Amen. Suicidal spirit is going around among our men. That's why we want no men. Amen. In the church, we want no men to be prayer warriors. Women are surviving. Hallelujah. Because they talk a lot. They said that a woman speaks some 20,000. Amen. Words in a day. And a man only talks 7,000. Women talk about what I'm good. A lot of women know the man named Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody said a little talk with Jesus. Make it right. Women keep talking. But talk to the right man. How many his name is Jesus. The same God. I am thy God. And watch this. Look at the promises. After declaring that you should not fear, and we should not fear, and that we should not be dismayed, declaring who he is. Hallelujah goes on to tell us, I will strengthen you. I hear the Apostle Paul say to the Lord in 2 Corinthians, uh, Hallelujah 12, Amen and 9. I heard him saying, I went to the Lord uh, three times in prayer because I discovered that I have a thorn in my flesh. Be what it may was a thorn. Hallelujah. He had something that was somewhat uh, retarding in him, uh, affecting his progress. Something that somewhat keeping him humble. Amen. Sometimes God will allow the thorn to remain in our flesh so that he keeps us a little longer on our knees. Because we know we have a weakness that nothing in this world our man can deal with. But God had the remedy for the thorn. God didn't remove it. What God did was to supply him with more grace. So God said to him, My grace is sufficient and my strength is made perfect in weakness. Do I have a weakness in the house? God is all strength. He gives strength, complete strength in our weakness. He said, I will strengthen you. Don't worry about it. I will strengthen you. When I know this, he went on to say, and I will help you. You need a helper. Check out Jesus. You need a helper. This is the helper that you don't have to pay. Amen. Hallelujah. Minimum wage. So, amen. This is a helper that you don't have. Hallelujah. Amen. To feel any way about. I'm glad he's a reliable helper. You can come to him and hear me. Somebody said central. Never busy. You can call him at any time. Amen. Hallelujah. You all need to dial when you are in trouble. 
you need to die in my name. Can you spell his name? Dial J. Dial E. Dial S. Dial U. Dial S. And you're going to hear, hello? I have a beer for you, honey. What do you want me to do? And you said, Lord, I need your help. I need your help. I feel like stepping over the edge. But I heard in church that in my trouble, in my difficulty, when I come to my end, oh, hallelujah, as it were, when I feel like it's all over, Lord, I know if it is not over, as far as you are concerned, it is not over. I feel like I must tell you, saints of God, and none of us think that we are already come to the end. Elijah thought he came to the end, but God, God, to him, amen, allowed him to walk on a journey, amen, a long journey, to keep how many days in one meal, hallelujah. But when God allowed him to hear that still small voice in that cave, God saved him, hallelujah. To me, to suppose you some anointing, about two kings for me, and you need to call a servant, the Elijah, Elijah. So when we think we, we're finished, and we're going to die now, because we can't any further, and we might be asking God to kill us, hallelujah, God is just ready for another assignment. Can I talk to somebody? I notice that the man, Elijah, who wanted to die, never died. Elijah was walking. And before the moment, he sensed that something supernatural is going to happen. Amen. And he asked Elijah to make a wish. And Elijah, amen, hungry for the anointed, amen, of his leader, Elijah. Amen. And he said, well, What I want from you is not just your mantle, but what I want from you, and neither the repulsion of the spirit that is upon you. Before you know it, amen, as they were traveling on, amen, they heard a rumbling up in heaven, and when they look up there, they were fire and chariots and horses, come to me somebody, hallelujah, and before you know it, amen, Elijah was going up, was going up, was going up, but while he was going up, amen, God will have answered the prayer of Elijah, the man to fail, who oh, held the Lord for, I wish that the man to have God's anointing would fall on his people in this place today. Oh, we need a double portion of the anointed. And here the sense of God, when Elijah received the mantle, John is already closed. Talk to me somebody. Hallelujah. Elijah come to glory. Never tasted that which he wanted, he never had. I hear it. I'm closing. What did Elijah give back to joy? You have some spectators, some young prophets, watching, hiding behind bushes. Let me see how you want to cross Jordan. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. How is it gone? How is it gone? But you will need to understand that you too are going to come to your giant. Oh, you're going to cross over. Hallelujah. But thanks to God, he had what it took to take him over. Amen. What was in his hand? The mantle. What was upon him? I got a portion. But it must be tried. It must be tested. The water was there. Hallelujah. And when those guys were looking up, Elijah came to Jordan. And he rolled out the mantle. Uh, help me, Jesus. And it's not joy and the fox. And say, we are it. The God of Elijah. Joy and Somebody say joy. Say joy another time. Because you have to cross the joy. But you can't do it. Uh, amen. In your own strength. 
your education not going to help you. Talk to me, your promotion will help you. Your account in the bank can I help you. Look to Jesus and believe. Look to Jesus and you shall receive. And here we are. I'm watered by them. And Elijah was cast through in the name of Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. We are leaving the service and we are going home. And right as I speak, some of you might be going home to church. But turn to the God who said, Fear not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed or be discouraged. For I am thy God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. But watch this. I will hold you by my right hand. Somebody say, hold your right hand. Not hold on your right hand. Hallelujah. Right hand signifies authority. When God holds you up, under his authority, for the word of God said, underneath his is everlasting life. When he holds the hand of his authority, no demon, no devil can bring you down. You must finish your task. You must finish your task. You must finish your final task. God knows that the way home could have died so many times, but God realized that I'm not going to fulfill my purpose. It has not been completed. And He wants me to leave this earth having all times. Not my God, but all times. To the glory and to the honor of our Lord. My brother is not. It's not that I can go over it. If I had a power. Amen. Amen. Yes. I would have reverted it. But if God allows it, leave him and God alone. Let not go into their business. Amen. Come and talk to me now. We don't know what happened that night. After he received that bullet, he could cry out to God and say, Lord, save me. Lord, I'm suffering. Save me. Forgive me. Say, oh, Lord, Lord. Oh, Lord, what you said. <laughs> because we don't know. Let me die in Those who were not at the cross and who did not get the report of the thief who received Amen. Forgiveness and we're, we're ending in the paradise when he died. One of us said, let's go to the other hand. But let's leave Harris and God. He knew God for himself. Whatever happened that night, and I really got him. The better part of it. Oh, hallelujah. We leave him and God. I love somebody. All we are saying, Maxine, Julia, the rest of us, let us make sure that when we come to Phoebe Jordan, we can cross the Lord under the anointing, under the power of God. God bless you. Amen. 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 Sister Singer, I was trying to call you to recognize me. The only confirmation that I can use before we invite Pastor Mary to pray for the family to do two verses of this song, take the name of Jesus. That's the only thing that can help us to cross over God. Amen. Amen. Sister Singer, I want you to get the very simple song. Help me. Take two verses. Take the name of Jesus with you. Child of sorrow and hope. It will joy and comfort in you. Take it then. The second verse, take the name of Jesus ever as a shield from every sneer. If temptation wrong you gather, breathe. Is there anybody in here who knows that name? Breathe that holy, precious name. It's, it's 127, singer. I have your word. 127. Can I invite the family to be seated and the rest of us stand as we sing these two verses? Take the name of Jesus with you. 
After which we invite Pastor Jonathan Mary to the pray for the family. In the name of Jesus. Of authority and protection and care. 
care is there to hold them even in this hour. And I join with the songwriter and ask for oh God that may their anchor hold to Jesus even amidst this difficult storm. So Lord, for Maxine, for Junior, for Sister Campbell, for the nieces and nephews, for for Harris's brother, we place them into your loving care. May you comfort their grieving heart. May they develop the spirit of resilience. May they learn to trust you more and more each day. And I can't close this prayer, Lord, without also praying for his colleagues, other members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force who are here. May you give them to the assurance that you are with them. Yes. For all the friends and well wishes who have come. May we have faith. May we believe that you, God, will always be there for us. And so when we get to that place, that breaking point, may we look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. For your promise still says that you will never leave nor forsake. May we commend the family into your hands. Continue to heal their broken hearts. But speak peace even in the midst of this storm. And may the hope, the hope that is very present, the hope in Jesus, may that hope burn brightly in their hearts. And we look forward to the time when you shall come. And there will be no death. No sorrow, no breaking point for your people. We shall have the privilege and joy of meeting Jesus. May all of us today, those who are in the hearing of my God, whether you are in this physical space or in the virtual space, may every single one of us make a calling and election show. And be ready to meet Jesus when he comes. This we ask in his mighty and powerful name. And let his people say, Amen. The recession on him is singing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. Can I just ask, we have been very faithful. We have done well. I want to thank you very much again. Let me say thanks to that servant.
Who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain is a place for people like you. If you stand up for those down on their knees.